Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So today I've uh, lifted the lid and the bottom off of the original Quad 405 that I've got here. And I'm looking to do some upgrades to this as well, which I'm going to get ordered today. Uh, we're going to look on the um, Hi-Fi Collective website and I've been talking to Nick there uh, about capacitors that are involved in this job so at the moment we've got these two big power caps here electrolytics um, made by BHC and we're looking to upgrade those so these are two 10,000 UF by 63 volt capacitors and then moving on to the actual boards here we have on each board we have a uh, hundred UF by 63 volts in there it's difficult to show you in there it's hard to to get in there with the light um, this is one here and then there's one down there as well and then we've got 200 UF by 25 volts and then just there on the back here you can see there we've got one on each board again so I also need two so 47 UF by 35 volts so what we're going to do is we're going to go on to uh, Hyper Collective's website and see what they do now I've been told that the audio note the top audio note capacitors are going to be the best on there I mean some of you guys don't like boutique so you'd be quite happy with these but bearing in mind these BHC caps here are only about £10 each and the audio note ones I'm looking at are £99 each so I've been assured that they'll, they, they are a hundred times better than these ones now you might think I'm crazy but I am crazy <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give this another lift, this amplifier as well. And you can see I've done some work on this before. I made one of my cables up there, um, the interconnects there. And uh, these side panels obviously just come, come off with the screws down in there. And uh, so let's go on to uh, Hi-Fi Collective's website and take a look. We are now on the Hi-Fi Collective website. Now, if you're not familiar with this company, they, they do everything you need to do upgrades. They've got absolutely everything. And the prices are fairly good as well. Um, if you haven't seen one of my videos before, I went to the factory, met Nick Lucas, the owner, and had a look round. Uh, the audio wasn't brilliant because I should have had a microphone with me, which I never which I'm getting a microphone very soon. So hopefully get these videos a little bit better because a lot of my videos are pretty rubbish the way I record them and I want to get the standard up a lot better. So these are the uh, the capacitors we're going for. So we need two 10,000 microfarad 63 volt capacitors those are the two big electrolytics in the power supply now these are quite expensive they're about 99 pounds each so we're going to be adding two of these to the basket now i'll be collecting these this coming week at some stage because i just like popping over and picking them up And then we're going to need, we're going to need the next one, or a, a thousand microfarad, 63 volts. We need two of those as well. We want to add these to the basket when we can find them on here.
There we go, we're putting two of these into the basket. And then finally, well not finally, uh, we need uh, another 2,000 microfarad 25 volt capacitors. So this is the final part for the uh, audio note. Now the problem is, is I'd love to have kept all of these audio note, but the last two that we need, audio note don't do those values. In fact, even Nichicon don't do the values, but I think I can use these last two, which I need 47 microfarad by 35 volts, but I can't get those either. So what I'm going to have to do is make a compromise and go for 45, 47 microfarad by 50 volts. Now I need to double check that, that I can use those. Um, otherwise, if I can't get those and I can't use those, I shall just keep what's already there on there because I don't want to... Um, cause any problems with inside the amplifier so here we go so these are the Nichicon KZ premium grade capacitors now all Nichicon capacitors are really reasonably priced and they perform extremely well so these KZ's are one of their better capacitors so as you can see they don't do the 47 by 35 volts only by 50 volts so i'll add them to the basket for now they're cheap to buy so i'll just order them and then when i go to collect them i'll uh, i'll talk to the guys there and see what they think about whether i can use those or not so uh i think that's it for this video so we'll be doing the upgrade soon so thanks for watching another tweaker man video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.